So what's up guys? I'm Rahul again and welcome to javaessential.com. And today we are going to discuss about the string, string buffer and string builder. So let me just quickly start with what are the different between the string and or we can say that what is diff what is the thing that put a string into the other bucket and string buffer and builder into an another one so there is one thing that you will see that a string is immutable a string is immutable whereas the a string buffer and a string builder these are the mutable And when I say the mutability, then whatever changes that you will do in a string, it won't reflect on the same memory location. Whereas in case of the string buffer and string builder, if you will do some changes, if you will append some other string into the existing string, it will modify on the same memory location. Because a string will use the SCP, that is the string constant pool. string will use the SCP area it will use SCP string constant pool whereas the string buffer and string builder the both will use the heap area so let me explain you this thing with the code so what we are gonna do is will create one string, string object, will append something into it and will check whether the hash code of that string is same after the appending some string or not. Suppose we'll take one str I have taken str here and we'll check what is the hash code of this str Now what we'll do is we'll modify this this string. And we'll append something like hello. Now what we'll do again, we'll again print what is the hash code. Is it same hash code or we'll get some different one? Okay. Now after that, what I'm saying is we'll compare these with either string buffer or string builder. Both are same. Both will going to the uh, give us the output same. But we'll take any one of them. We'll take a string builder. and we'll put the printl in here to print what is the hash code for the string builder and we'll append something on the string builder object we'll append some string where is the string here it is we'll append here and now again we'll check what will be the hash code is it same or it will return some different value here okay guys so let's just quickly run the code so the first two output will be for the string class and the next two output will be for the string builder so here it is for the first two these are not same this both are this one is for the string str when it is high and these after appending this hello here oops this after appending this hello here so here in case of a string class it is different it is generating the two different hash code 
and in case of the string builder you can clearly see that that the hash code for the sb1 is same before appending that hello also and after appending that so why this will happen is in case of the string what it does it it will took that memory area it will create str here it will create str and it contains what it will contain hi and this will pointing to this one initially but after modification what will happen is when we append this hello here it will create a new memory location and the str is no longer pointing to this one now this str will pointing to this one and it contains this hi and hello and that this memory location what you are seeing here is that one the first one and the another the second memory location is this one that's why we are getting two different value two different hash code in case of a string so and what will happen in the same thing but uh, in case of that uh, string builder the same memory location will be modified here this all thing will happen in the heap area because it is string builder so it will happen in the heap area so it will be there as sb1 and after the modification also it will just append the string whatever whatever you will put here it will append the in the here itself and it will give the second output that we have seen this one so both are same in case of the string builder so till now we have seen the difference between the string and string builder or buffer but there is one difference here also in string builder and string buffer and what it is we'll see it the difference between the string and string buffer or builder is the just a uh, mutability string is the immutable and string buffer and string builder is mutable now we'll see what is difference between the string buffer or builder because if both will do the same work every even though with the method present in the string buffer and string builder both are means all are common itself means you will see the oracle documentation you will find most of the method is common then what is why is it is needed to create again a string builder a string buffer was introduced in java 1.0 and a string builder was introduced in 1.5 so what is the need what is required what is the requirement that it took to create a string builder in 1.5 actually you can say that a string buffer is the older brother of a string builder it is a string builder is younger string buffer was created introduced in java 1.0 and which is meant to perform the lots of manipulation like when this is the string buffer is thread safe it has to take care of locking the variable unlocking the variable and all those things and people started using string buffer for all of their requirement whenever they want a string which is needed to be changed in that program but what will happen is even in a single thread single threaded application they are using a string buffer where the locking is not required but if still you are using still a string buffer so it will lock your value perform operation execute it then again unlock it even though you are not using the multi threading application so here is the problem the performance is to raise is here the performance is like means you are using the single threaded application but st still you are paying cost for the multi threaded application so what it does it 
they introduce this string builder with the all the application whatever present all the method whatever present in the string buffer it is still there in the string builder and here is one thing that it is not synchronized it is not thread safe so if you are using these with string buffer and you will ha suppose you will have three thread t1 t2 and t3 and if you want some modification then at a time only one thread will perform the modification it will go to it will lock the variable it will lock this variable whatever suppose you are using the str as sb1 then it will lock this variable throughout the ex execution of its own thread and it will unlock after the execution then only just after completion of this then only the any one of the other thread will get chance to execute the sb1 so here's the locking mechanism is there in the string buffer in case of the string builder there is nothing is there multi th means thread can perform simultaneously changes but it is not recommended to use the string builder in multi threaded application because there might be chances suppose there is three and suppose these three th thread are there in the string builder and uh, you are performing some modification in sb1 and somewhere in between t2 also want to perform some modification then there may be a chances or uh, raise an issue that your data is not consistent and but this is, string builder is not meant for that if it is the requirement then you will go you have to go with the string buffer so whenever you are you are dealing with the single threaded application you should go with the string builder it will definitely give you better performance than the string buffer and if you are using the string uh, multi threaded application you have no option you should go with the string buffer itself so let me just show you the performance how much uh, impact there will be in performance I'll just delete this code what we are doing here is we are just taking the current system time we are just noting down with how much time this loop will take and we'll append this string continuously this many time into that string this in this string buffer and we will repeat the same thing same kind of operation we'll repeat we'll append this string into this sb2 in this many times and we'll see what is the time a string builder will take and how much time the string buffer will take So as you can see that a string buffer is taken 610 milliseconds and a string builder has taken 453 milliseconds because it is a single threaded application you don't want to just you don't want to lock your variable you don't want to lock your variable perform operation and again unlock it is not needed here is it a single threaded application no other thread is going to impact your variable that's it just because of this overhead this extra time whatever the extra time is there it has been taken by the string buffer this is the overhead for the single threaded application so that's why if you are not using multi threading application you should strictly go with the string builder so that's it guys now let me just quickly summarize what we have seen till now with this what it is is the comparison chart kind of thing just what are the storage area that using the string will use the scp area the string constant pool whereas the string buffer and string builder will use heap area and the modification is possible in a string also but it is, this will not reflect the same memory location so we can say that it is immutable you can't modify the same memory location the object in the value in the same memory location it will reflect some other value it will modify in some other place and the previous that previous location will be there still as a garbage so it might be some sometime it will be 
causing some problem for your application also so if there is changes required don't go for a string if changes re is required in your string you should go with string buffer and builder again if you have ch two choice string buffer and string builder if it is a single threaded application go with string builder if it is multi threaded application go with string buffer because string buffer is thread safe and string builder is not thread safe just because of the thread safety it will pay in cost it will the performance wise it will be slow and in performance wise the string builder is fast so that's it guys hope you'll enjoy the video please do subscribe our channel like our videos and comment your opinion this will be really helpful thank you guys thank you for watching this video